Never miss another live stream again. Hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and click see all notifications. What's the motherfucking deal, Sauce Nation? It's your boy, Ed Honcho, and this is a Sauce Sports special. If you're not familiar with Sauce Sports, Sauce Sports is a Houston homer channel, so that means we're talking all sports, but only Houston. With that being said, let's just get in it to win it. Uh, it's been a while. you know. I've changed my intro up, so if you're not familiar with what I do, like I said, I'm your Houston homeboy. I am the Houston homer. I'm going to put the socials around here somewhere, so pay attention. But uh, like I said, I got to get back to what, what made this. Like I said, I definitely enjoy doing the live stream with you guys. I definitely enjoy y'all tuning in doing that. We're going to do more of that. I'm going to start trying to have that going on about 8.30 in the evening. So, you know, stay tuned around 8.30. Make sure you got your notifications and things like that uh, <clears throat> tuned in. And in the beginning of the video now, I make sure I showed you a little thing to, to make sure that it's all the way on because – I know a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people have been hitting me, telling me that they've been trying to catch the live streams and then they only get the notification after it's done and it's uploaded or, you know, that it's just not coming through. And so what it is, is like I said, I mentioned before in the other video about, you know, my stuff, I guess is considered a little bit more explicit. And, you know, even though I haven't done the 420 stuff in quite a while, if you really go back and look uh, when I was still doing for the 420 thing, I mean, a significant chunk of my views have come from like, a quarter of those videos so I, I definitely see why I would still be considered that way even though it's been about a month or two since you know I've been doing that on on camera um but then again it could be you know because channel's affiliated with the Kush did anything else but um so not going into that I'm gonna say I want to talk about trending texts and so we all saw the preseason game I need to give myself a day or two to get acclimated I'm gonna shout out to everybody who is back in school shout out to everybody who's just starting college so I want to shout out personally to my boy Jose um you know, everybody who's happy that the kids are back in school, so y'all ain't really got to deal with them like that. Like I said, all y'all who are doing good things, man, if you're a student athlete, then I'm wishing you the best. If you got some footage, man, send it to us all sports. We'll definitely check it out. But let's get into it. Let's just talk about it. Like I say, what we got going on today at Trending Texans. And, you know, just a couple of things, a couple of guys that I saw after that second preseason game that I feel like are, are, are trending in the right direction. And we'll speak on a couple of guys that I saw that, that may or may not be. Um, so let's just get into it. Like I said, Nick Martin. Number one, man amongst boys out there, I, I do my fuck around to be a pro bowler this year. That's why I was really excited about Nick Martin last year, but, uh, you know, he's had time to sit down, heal up, whatever. Uh, like I said, I know a lot of people don't give offensive linemen a lot of credit, a lot of glory, but if you go back and watch some Nick Martin and just see how he's handling, he, I mean, taking it to the second level every time he's handling, he just, he, he just looks like he's been there. I mean, so that – that has me very excited for the potential of this offensive line. Because, like I said, we have some other good guys that would either be backups or, you know, that you'd move to the guard. And so, solid guys. So I think that line is going to be a lot more solid than we expect whenever DB comes back. Yeah, he's going to come back. I'm going to tell you, he ain't going to miss them game checks. So, everything's going to get tightened up. I said I wasn't going to use that no more because that's what the, the meth heads, the meth mountain guys use. So, everything's going to get fixed <coughs> and appropriate. Uh, another guy trending up, Dylan Cole. The dude, he's got it. He's got the juice. He will make the 53 man roster. I don't care what anybody says. Dylan Cole will be on that roster. <clears throat> he's just making plays as stiff as he looks, even though he has that, that funny body frame. Uh, he's actually more athletic than he appears. He's got a motor on him, and he, he just, he's just got it. Like, he's got the juice. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a smaller conference or whatever, the dude is just a football player. He's, he's, he's going to be on that roster. They expect him to contribute. Not just be on the roster. Expect him to contribute to that roster. Uh, the newest Texan, one of the newest. God, I won't say the newest. I think is he the newest, or was that Hopper kid the newest? Um, Bruce Ellington. Now, there used to be another guy that used to wear that number twelve. So there's a I have a disdain for that number, <coughs> but the, the Ellington definitely, definitely uh, made me forget about all that. Now it was only one game. It's a preseason game, but what you have to look at, and I'm going to speak on him for a second, is that you have to look at. What he did with a limited amount of time came in and was the most significant contributor in either of the preseason games that we've had at the receiver position. Um, definitely the most uh, prolific at this point, just so far this season. Um, and just came like he, he he belonged, like he's been there, like he's a, a veteran to this team. And, you know, getting yak yards, you know, making great catches, you know what I mean? Um, the guy was there, had – one or two little missteps, I think, with uh, with Watson, but still, um, definitely made his name known. Definitely made himself a present, and and is a guy that 
you almost want to pay attention to whether or not you have some of these injuries that you, you have because he's put on a bit of a better performance than some of the guys that we've had here for, you know, a year or two. So it's very interesting to see what he's going to bring, what they're going to do with him, you know, especially, you know, with some of these other guys. I think Miller's supposed to be coming back. Uh, you know, Fuller is still going to be a while. So Ellington is definitely a guy to watch. Um, I think he has a – if he plays in the third preseason game and, you know, anything like this. They, but they've had an eye on him for a while from what I've heard because uh, he came out the same year as Clowney, I believe, or, you know, he was there, you know, when Clowney was doing his pro day. So the Texans are familiar with him. Um, so, like I say, glad that they were able to find a little bit of a diamond in the rough and hopefully they can continue to mold that and turn that into something very significant. Uh, but like I say, keeping this going, Dante Foreman, we already know I, I like it. Trending up, definitely trending up. But what I want to see from Foreman is, like I said, I want to see it happening against the ones. I'm curious as to why, you know, Irvin got in before Foreman. You saw Irvin get a significant amount of time. Also a guy who's trending up. Uh, you saw Alfred Blue get some carries. And then, you know, then you see Foreman. So I'm wondering why, what is it if he's having some, some, some rock handling issues? Because that could be the only thing that I could see being a problem, maybe. And like I say, I, um, as to why he's not moving up. Because, I mean, you know, against the guys that we're seeing against, yes, he's putting on a hell of a performance. Yes, they're twos and threes. But at the same time, you know, a lot of those twos and threes, they're speedy uh, guys who could at least get in your way. Now, they might not be the greatest tacklers, may not have the greatest technique and things like that. But, I mean, he's just – what he's doing to those guys, it, it looks like he could still have a significant impact against, you know, some ones. Um, <clears throat> Chris Thompson. Chris Thompson, I did a video on that guy in the Know Your Texans series. So it's a lot of these guys that I would not have known about that I actually have a, a vested interest in because I, I didn't know of them. I didn't really put the time and effort in before doing this, before starting the soft sports. And now, like I say, doing this and doing that research, it, it has brought me some new insight. Um, <clears throat> Chris Thompson was a guy that I was just kind of wondering what was his point, why was he here, didn't really have a, a lot going on in college but stats don't always tell you everything. You know, those, you know, going back and doing research, sometimes you got to know people. Somebody came on that video, uh, pause, somebody went to that video and left a comment and was saying about, you know, watch, stay tuned, you know, see what he does. And I was like, okay, probably a family member. They just talking that shit, representing for their people. It's all good. You know, I say, I got love. I'm a rep for my people. But definitely made an impact. And even on the plays that he didn't make special team play, he was right there. So if you go back and watch, I mean, he's in the mix. He's definitely going to be a contributor to special teams. Um, that one that they, I think he had, it was that was like on the seven. I think they ended up moving it back up to the nine or something. That was a hell of a play. So those are the, the kind of guys you need on special teams because, you know, that we have not definitely, definitely have not been a, a solid special teams unit for several years. And um, was, we're looking to start, we're starting to look like we have some decent return guys. Uh, Irvin is looking like a real returner making decisions, you know, not hesitating, you know, already deciding where he's going with the ball. Uh, looked like he would have had a nice break if it wasn't for that little shoelace tackle. So definitely, like I said, Irvin is another guy that's trending that we're talking about. Um, <clears throat> Jalen Strong, that's somebody I've definitely been high on for several years. You know, no pun intended. Uh, I know what y'all going to say either way with those high jokes, so fuck y'all. But uh, I've been high on Jalen Strong for, for quite some time, you know, even when we got him with that pick. And like I say, he's a guy you go to in the end zone. Jalen Strong is an end zone manipulator he's gonna bring it down you gonna high point he's gonna go get that so that's the guy you want to trust in the end zone I, I expect to see a lot of savage strong connection this year um <clears throat> and like i say savage another guy trending up had a better game this game uh than last game because like i said i think last game you know it got to the point where the play calling kind of improved what he was doing getting the ball out a little bit quicker he held on to the ball a little bit more still than i would like showed a little bit of mobility he's not a not not shop stiff. Now we're not saying he's you know Vic Jr. or nothing like that. Definitely didn't have anything on Watson in that category. But showed a little bit of mobility. Showed some ability to throw accurately on the run because he put that in a window to Steven Anderson uh, on that on that on that play. So that was definitely a plus from Savage. So you know a lot of people definitely jumping on the Watson train. And I say that his performance to me. Uh, oh, and I want yeah, one more guy that's trending up. Ufomba uh, Kamalu. Another guy I did a video on, uh, shout out to him and uh, shout out to his old lady because she retweeted it. So definitely got some love for that. You know, everybody's showing love. Who was actually close to some of these players and hopefully y'all sharing it with him. Hopefully give him the sauce. Let him know we out here repping. Sauce Nation out here repping for him, even if they don't got a big name, even if the rest of the nation won't talk about him. We definitely going to show some love for him here at Sauce Sports. Um, 
So Kamala, another uptrending guy. Now, like I say, to me, uh, Watson kind of stayed neutral, didn't go up, didn't go down, didn't have a great completion record uh, of statistics, but I'm not going to put all those on him. Uh, one mainly I would put on was that, that Anderson pass in the end zone. <clears throat> I think that was a little on him. The rest of those, like I say, it was a couple of those that hit the hands that didn't make, that he didn't catch, and, and, and some other things going on. You know, uh, he had a bat, uh, batted pass, a couple other things. Like I say, so it wasn't nothing impressive. But he did show some good decision-making uh, again. And then, like I say, the mobility and scoring a touchdown. So that's that's definitely a positive. The the mobile quarterback thing is definitely brand new to us. Um, so, like I say, he's a neutral guy. So I'm not going to say he's trending up or down. But regardless of what happens, he's always going to be trending up because the people want to see what he can bring to the table. Now, two guys that I'm going to have on the downtrend. Um, one of them, Zach Cunningham. Now, I'm not hating on Zach. Like, I'm still super-duper high on the Zach pick, and I love what he brings to the table. He just got beat twice, and that kind of exposed an element of his game that he's definitely going to have to tighten up as far as in coverage on the smaller, quicker guys. Now, I mean, it's, it's going to be hard to cover those guys, whoever you are. And I'm saying being a rookie, that's just an advantage you take care of. Um, but like I say, don't, don't put it past Belichick to be paying attention to any of these things because we do have to meet again. And, uh, you know, Bill O'Brien, Cornell, Vrabel, all these guys being students of, of uh, Belichick's game, you know, uh, hopefully they're smart enough not to show too much of their hand, not to have shown too much of their hand in practice, you know, because Belichick's going to pick up on all that. He's probably paying attention in practice because, look, you know, every, every game counts to him, so he's paying attention to the players, what they do and what they don't do. So he's going to have a, a very uh, – he's going to have adequate knowledge of what the Texans are going to bring to the table. Um and also, like I say, and the other one was Rashawn Allen, the tight end. And I'm curious because he's been getting a lot of time. I've seen him get some time working with the ones. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I saw, I saw him out there with the ones once or twice. And then he's been getting the, the, the tight ends. I think they've been in rotation. Um, and then I saw him get a little bit of time with the twos where he had that, that almost fumble. And so, you know, you got to hold on to that because that could have been something beneficial as opposed to, you know, a, a bad play. So, like I say, to me, those are my guys who are trending up. Those are those who are trending down and staying neutral to me. Like I say, I'm trying to stir the sauce up a little bit faster. It's been a little while since I've given y'all a good recorded video that hasn't been, you know, know your Texans or something like that. So, like I said, I'm going to get back in the mix, make sure I'm doing my dailies, and definitely going to try to spread the wealth, not just always text and make sure I start touching, uh, speaking on the Rockets, speaking on more Astros who still got the best league in the record, the best record in the league. And so those are things that we definitely need to talk about. So, like I say, the sauce will be new, improved, heavily uh, flavored, extra stir. And I want to shout out to each and everybody who has showed love and supported the sauce. I want to shout out to those who have donated, those who have um, came through on the Super Chats. Definitely appreciate those. Those are always great. Um, like I say, all those who hit the PayPal, those who signed up for the Patreon. Um, those of you who are committed to the sauce, man, like I said, I appreciate you. Those who have been spreading the word, you know what I mean? All of that is of value. So like I say, even if you, you – I'm not <laughs> – I don't think any less of y'all. Like I said, I don't want people to feel no type of way. I've had people sit me, hit me, and say, oh, man, I can only shoot this. This is what I want you to understand. You don't have to shoot me anything. I don't think any different. But the fact that you do is uh, I take great appreciation in that. And um, I just can say thank you. I mean, that's all I can say. So, like, I don't want people to feel no, man, you know, I, ain't got no, I don't feel no kind of way about that. Like I said, y'all don't have to support anything I do. Just the fact that y'all show up and watch the videos is, is, is great. So... With that being said, and for those of you who are asking for information, I'll put the information at the end of the video how you can, you know, contribute to the flavor if you are interested in that. So with that being said, though, um, man, we're getting closer and closer to the regular season. Uh, we got the Saints this week, so definitely going to be plenty of splash on that. We're going to talk about that. And like I said, 8 o'clock. I'm going to start trying not 8 o'clock. I'm trying to do 8 30, between 8.30 and 9.30. I know a lot of people in school, a lot of people work and stuff like that. So I'm going to start trying to do live streams early, let you guys call in, have everything in shape and and be good to go. But with that being said, it's your boy Ed Honcho. I'm going to chunk up a deuce. Oh, I forgot because I've got to make sure i got the right format going. Make sure the streaming format is different from the regular record format. So make sure you catch uh, the Facebook page at South Sports. You catch the uh, SouthSports.com. You catch um, South Sports HTX on Twitter if you just want those dripping flavorful South Sports takes. Uh, and if you just fucking with your boy Ed Honcho, you can catch me at the real Ed Honcho on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to run a game on the Xbox, Hancho Saucy, we can run some. I know the new Madden about to come out uh, and all that other good stuff. So with that being said, it ain't got to just be sports, man. Like I said, I fuck with y'all. Sauce Nation, y'all the freshest ingredients in the motherfucking world. So with that being said, I'm going to chunk up the deuce. Y'all be cool like y'all be cool. It's your boy at Hancho. I'm out. 
What's the motherfucking deal? I just wanted to send a special shout out to all the Sauce Nation supporters. So I want to send a shout out to Dalton Wilson for his donation. All the Patreon supporters, Jose Rueda, Luis Sanchez, a special thank you. And especially to all the Super Chat supporters, Joseph Snow, Acres Home, Mr. Killer KB, Anthony Conant, and Albert Villalobos. A extra special thank you to all you guys who have been supporting the Sauce. For everybody who's been asking how they can donate to some of the dripping, you can hit the Patreon if you want to do a monthly thing for as little as a dollar. Uh, your support will be greatly appreciated. If you want to do a one-time donation, you can do that via PayPal. And always welcome to doing the live stream super chats. Let your voice be heard. Let the whole world know how it go. But with that being said, it's your boy Ed Honcho. Appreciate all the love.